Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing the KSP week 5 challenge and we're going to do this in style. As you can tell we're going to be making a kangaroo. It's going to have kerbals in the pouch. It's going to be super cute and totally functional or not really. I mean we, we will have some suspension but it's not going to be super bouncy but that's the reason why we will have some uh, rocket rockets on the very bottom of the kangaroo so <laughs> it's a rocket powered kangaroo uh rover kind of thing for other planets so <laughs> it's gonna be funny to see how it works obviously i've already tested it but um interestingly enough these legs here the landing legs they're actually called wallaby so i i assume that's a reference to the wallaby in australia which is like a you could say it's a miniature kangaroo um so yeah, it's uh, I guess it's it's made clearly for an Australian animal. Let me know if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure wallaby is only for that. So, and look how cute the kerbals are. These are the jump test, and it's uh, pretty successful. I did a few before, and it did break. But when I added a few more of those legs, uh, it was it was fine. And I changed the dampeners as well to the maximum amount. I did avoid changing the spring strength because when you max out the spring strength, it tends to, um, yeah, I mean, you, you, it's like hitting a rock, right, with a max spring. So I avoided that, just left spring at the fault. And so this is the vehicle that's going to get us to Duna. Um, what well, you've probably guessed it, but the the very top there, we've got the, the kangaroo hidden inside. Um, I did test this with about six different iterations of a, of a rocket. Um, and the reason for that is because whenever I made a rocket, uh, at least one like this, la this large size, the game would basically bury the rocket at the bottom of the VAB and all the parts would be like disconnected kind of. It's a known bug at the moment, but... Uh, it, it did get really frustrating because that happened like six to seven times. So, uh, yeah, as a result, it took quite a number of hours because every time I launched a rocket and, you know, usually it would fail at the, at the start because, you know, rockets can be a little bit wobbly. I put as many struts as I could, but I'd launch it and then it would fail in some way and then I'd go to VAB and then the rocket would be just completely broken and glitched out. So I'd have to start again. So, um, thankfully I avoided having to use unbreakable joints, which is one of the cheats you can enable. Um, and by the way, I have skipped uh, a lot of the trip to Duna because it was very uneventful and I need some more basic space training because yeah, I wasn't burning efficiently whatsoever to get here. Another issue I had. I'm just naming all the issues. Uh, it was the parachutes. The, the parachutes did not deploy. Uh, I did configure them to launch at like, you know, the highest altitude uh, on, on the riskiest level. I think there was, yeah, I did that. I tested it a little bit. It did work on another rocker, but this one it didn't. So it's a little bit strange. And you see here, I did press space bar, but yeah, very odd. But hey, in the end, we did make it. I had to be a little bit conservative with fuel um, because at one point I did run out of fuel, so I had to kind of reset and start again. So that was another challenge. But you know what? In the end of the day, we're doing all this for the damn kangaroo. Um, it's quite fun actually bouncing it around. So I will obviously make this available for all of you to give it a try. But look at that. Beautiful. Kerbals. Are in the pouch, one's on top of the ca kangaroo's head. Yeah, gorgeous looking. This is a rover in style. You know what? I'm going to encourage more people to do this. you got to do more interesting things. Can't just have some boring looking rover. Now, if you do want to use the kangaroo, make sure that you have SAS and RCS controls enabled. That way you can maintain stability. And of course, we have the uh, rocket-powered uh, bottom there. So that's coming out of the kangaroo's private parts. It's super powerful. or well, not really, but <laughs> it's cool looking. I just love the engine, pl the, the plume at the bottom. It just makes a nice little effect. And I really wanted to see how the bounce works on Duna. And, well, boom. Yeah, we're fine. This, this thing can actually handle a bit of an impact. It's, uh, yeah, this is another one. And do you think we'll make it? Yes or no? And 
yeah, we're fine. So, it's not bad. These, these legs are pretty strong. I mean, look, if you can make it, if you can do this on Kerbin, you can certainly do this on Duna. And I did test on Kerbin. A few jump tests were all that it took to determine that it is ready to go on any planet. Except for maybe, I mean, this, this is probably not going to work out on EVE so well. EVE is just, uh, you know, just crazy gravity and such a thick atmosphere. But, you know, if you do manage to give it a test, let me know on EVE. Because there is, there is the new weekly challenge. I think it's week 7, if I'm not mistaken. Or week 6. I think week 6 was some cappy thing. So, yeah, and here we are just uh, falling over. Well, trying to not fall over, I guess. Because when I had the, the cinema mode, I couldn't actually see the nav ball. So I was kind of losing control there. So, can get a bit finicky. But... Yeah, it works in the end. And we're just toppling over. Uh, and we've lost the portion of the head. Well, the whole part of the top head. The mouth is gone. The jaw is completely gone. But the kangaroo is perfectly fine. Totally realistic. <laughs> it's just cool looking. It really is. Yeah, so it's good fun. At this point, I was just messing around. Um, I wasn't... You know, I actually wanted to do the vow level of the challenge. Which is to basically return back to Kerbin. But... I didn't anticipate the fact that, you know, I had landed so far away from uh, the the Kerbin return vessel. So, pretty much gave up from here. <laughs> so, I mean, it's, it's the damn parachute's fault as well. Those things didn't even deploy. Um, strangely as well, when you do, you know, go to EVA, the Kerbal will kind of teleport. Um, I think it's because the Kerbal seat is, well, all the seats really are, are obstructed partially. I mean, it does, visually, it looks like there are spaces, there's enough space in the pouch, but I don't know, the game doesn't see it that way. So I've invented a teleporter. Uh, if someone can try and master this, that'd be awesome. A <laughs> Kerbal teleporter. Um, and here we are, just about to fall and crash into our, into our demise. So, yeah, this is pretty much the end of, end of everything. This is the end of the kangaroos and all those Kerbals right there. I would like to see, though, if this would have worked if I landed on the legs. But as you can see here, we're not really landing on the legs. We're going straight down. I guess that's also a bit of a challenge you can do, which is to um, jettison, fly like a couple minutes away from your ship and then see if you can get back on. Maybe someone can create some little challenge there. But hey, here we are about to crash. Anyway, I think that's it for this video. I will again provide access to the craft. You can download and give it a go. Or I can even make the kangaroo separate from the main initial launch stage as well. In case your computer might be struggling. So I will provide that on the description. But hey, that's it. That's my attempt for uh, week 5. And it was a little bit of a fun attempt. So anyway, thank you for watching. Have a good one. See ya.